Alright guys, this is the bottom end section as you more or less know it. Um, as you can see we've changed the layout down here for the engine block and block material selection as all the engine types that at one point will be in the game wouldn't be fitting on in the old style. So currently we only have four different engine types. Um, we do have the cheap inline four, the super smooth inline six, the cross-plane V8 and the slightly more exhaust efficient um, flat plane V8 which isn't quite as smooth as the cross-plane V8. Alright, also we have um, two new materials which is the ALSI, a uh, aluminum silicon mixture and this is slightly lighter than the aluminum block because you don't have to put in the iron um, housings for the cylinders um, thus you also reduce the amount of man hours needed to construct it but in uh, total for balancing reasons we made the material cost a bit higher uh, then we also have the magnesium which first gets available for a tech year of 2020 um, which basically is your race engine alternative for very high-tech engines it is super light and super expensive the next option is engine size and no longer do you have to select between three or four different block types um, or block sizes but instead you have free engine scaling if you up the bore then the engine gets bigger while a decreasing bore makes the engine smaller the same isn't really true for stroke as if you move within 30% range of your bore value it doesn't change engine size. So you can make either under square engines or over square engines. As opposed to the initial release of the automation demo, in this version you're playing right now, bore has a lot more dependencies. and. I want to go through them here now, so just to make it clear. Um, more bore means that the engine is both larger, much heavier, more expensive, less smooth, more prone to knocking, better breathing, very important, remember that, better breathing, more prone to valve floating. More stroke on the other hand means that the engine still has the same size, it's just a bit heavier slightly more expensive, less smooth, less prone to knocking, much worse breathing and doesn't rev as high. The last part of the bottom end tab is now to consider the internal components, the crank, the conrods and the pistons. The options are still the same as in the initial release of the uh, engine designer demo but um, now you see you do get a bit more information about the parts themselves um, as a quick look um, in the semi-transparent info area you see here. The uh, requires forge works means that in the later game uh, once we have the economy part in there you will have to have add-ons on your factory in order to build those parts to in mass production. You can still um, have small forging facilities within a normal um, manufacturing line but uh, you will be severely limited in the amount of um, parts you can make in those without the special forging works. So just check them out here, look at their stats and decide for yourself what would be the best part to choose. As you can see also, the flywheel is actually missing now, um, as this is basically a part of the drivetrain already uh, and not really as important in the engine designer itself we decided to not delete it but to move it to the car designer part so you'll probably see it there <laughs> 